Three Rivers Archery, your longbow and recurve experts. Hi, today we're talking about our new Karen recurve bow. Now, like the, or the name set, Karen, uh, which is a grouping of rocks that signifies a landmark or a, a spot for navigation on a path, we're hoping that this bow is a great introduction for people on the path of traditional archery. Very affordable, take down so you can change the limbs, pack it, take it anywhere you need to, um, and, and a great out there and get going bow. Now it comes in two different models, the larger 62 inch model and then the smaller 54 inch model. Now, and the reasons for these is to have the different weights. So the 54 is targeted more to the young shooter and light weights. It's offered in 15, 20, and 25 pounds, all rated at a 26 inch draw. And then also the 62 inch model does start light. We have 25 up to 55 pounds on those. Now the limbs are not interchangeable between the risers, but they're interchangeable on the riser. So you can go from 25 pounds up to 55 on the 62 inch model and 15 to 25 on the 54. Now taking a look at the risers to start with here, um, they look very similar, laminated material together, which gives not only a great look, but adds extra strength. Um, it is a, a thumb bolt attachment system, which is always nice, makes it easy, no tools attachment, though it does have a spot for Allen wrench if you want to make sure it's good and snug. They have um, front stabilizer bushings to them. They have a plunger hole. On the other side here, you see the ATA accessory hole, so you can put about any and every accessory that a traditional recurve can have on these bows. Now, another thing to note is actually the 54 inch model is a little bit longer than the 62 inch model on the riser. Obviously the limbs are shorter, but uh, the riser itself is a little longer. And then it is also skinnier, which is another reason why you can't interchange the limbs. It's very specific ones to it. So it has a radius shelf. So if you want to shoot it off the shelf, it's very easy to attach that on there. But it does come with adhesive backing and an elevated, um, elevated rest. And nice thing with these, very easy to put on, put together, adjust it where you want. Uh, there's a hole punched out there, so if you want to use the plunger hole or at least use it for alignment on it, easy enough to do. And that's how we're going to test it today is with that. Uh, string that comes with it is a Dacron string and the sloop. It's a basic string, but a great starter string for it. Keeps the cost down. And as you want to experiment with other higher, higher performance string materials, easy enough to do. Now the limbs, uh, going off the string, they are reinforced tips, so you can use a low stretch, no stretch type material on them. Uh, they're maple cores, black fiberglass, uh, you know, a basic limb, but a very dependable limb. Maple is a very commonly used limb, limb core. Um, shorter ones, like I said, 15, 20, and 25. And then the heavier is from 25 all the way up to 55 on weight. Um, so that is, that is the Karen recurve, showing it off here. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go up onto the range and we're going to do some uh, boat testing with our chronograph. So let's go there now. Okay, we're up on the range. We have the Karen strapped in. We've got two sets of arrows here. Uh, we have a 10 grains per pound of pole hunting weight arrow and an 8 grains per pound of pole target arrow. What we're going to do is three shots with each in succession to show you kind of the average speed that you'll get. Uh, we have the bow strapped in. We're shooting with the elevator rest, uh, 7 and 3 quarters brace height, 45 pounds at 28. We checked. That's what we're pulling to. Uh, we have our pro chronograph set up about six feet in front of the bow and we'll sit, shoot right through it and we're just going to do three shots right in succession, make it quick and easy. Uh, so let's get to it. We're going to start with the 10 grains per pound hunting weight arrow. First shot, 177 feet per second. Second shot, 178 feet per second. Third shot, 177 feet per second. Okay, 177 feet per second, about average there. That's with our 10 grains per pound of pull out of a 45 pound bow. Uh, let's switch over to the eight grains per pound of pull and see how much speed we pick up. First shot, 191 feet per second. Second shot, duplicate, 191 feet per second. Third shot, 190 feet per second. All right, with our target arrow, we're up in the 190 feet per second. Nice little jump over our 10 grains per pound to pull hunting weight arrow. Uh, shows that the bow is a solid performer, especially at a uh, introductory bow. You're going to get a lot of power, a lot of usage out of this. 
And that again was the 45 pound bow pulling it to 28 inches. And that's the Karen Recurve here at Three Rivers Archery. If you have any comments, please put them below. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. If you really like the video, please hit that share button to share with friends and family. I'm Jonathan Karch with Three Rivers Archery. Thanks for watching.